So string concatenation is adding, joining, or putting two or more strings together. In Python, we do this with the plus sign or addition operator. Let's experiment a bit, but first let's create a new file um, called gsum underscore python underscore strings dot py. That's the file we'll be working on. And inside that file, uh, type the information you see here, which I've basically just copied and pasted pasted and yeah you can type it out yourself or let's follow as i go so we have the variables a b c d e and words let's go through so a b c d and e just has strings in them a b in gsum b b in python for beginners and, and e just has an empty string with just a space in it um, we'll come to that later so in the variable words, we've concatenated A, B, C, and D to form one new string. And then we're going to print out that variable words and see what we get on screen. Let's do it now. So we have GSAM, Python for beginners, all smushed together. You can see the different variables and follow. But this really doesn't really look good for the human eye. So let's change it up a bit by adding some spaces in between using the e variable that I mentioned earlier. So let's create another variable called nice words. And then let's copy or retype what we have up here. And then we want the variable e to be in between each of these so right here we want e plus e what have I done ignore that for now e plus e and then yeah so Oops, an extra space here. So A plus E, B plus E, C plus E, and D plus E. So let's save and run this. Oh wait, I forgot my print statement. So we're gonna need another print statement. And in that print statement, we wanna print nice words. Save again run and we have two versions words and nice words one all smushed together and the second one has the empty space between each of the words the strings that we concatenate don't even need to be within a variable so let's add a colon to make it even nicer so to our nicer words um, declaration let's add another plus sign and in between that we're gonna just put a string with a colon All right so we want gsum colon and then the rest that comes after so let's save that and run it again and we can see we have String concatenation using variables and we have string concatenation using just an empty string out there. So we have three versions, or two versions. GSAM Python for beginners all smushed together. GSAM with the colon and space between each of the words. So let's move on to the length function. There may be times when you want to know the length of a string variable. You can find out this integer value by using Python's built-in length function. Let's try it out by continuing to use our gsum python strings file. So let me just get rid of some of the information here, clear the screen and we want to say let's try to find out the length of uh, the variable a. So. Uh, we have a up here and say we want to say let's make that into a variable f 
is equal to length this is the length function and then you add the variable that you want to find the length of inside the brackets and that would put the integer value of the length of that string into the variable f and then we want to print out that value so let's print f using our print function so if we run this we'll get the integer value 6 for the variable f because the word gzam has six characters g e e z a m six and so the in the integer value six is assigned to the variable f but what if we wanted to do some calculations with an integer value we got from the length function let's experiment a bit All right so let's say we have another variable a b c d e f g and then we want to say the length of a uh, plus the length of b and then we want to print whatever the value is for g oops so we know that a is 6 and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, also 6. So we should get 6 plus 6, which is equal to 12, printed out for the value uh, G. Let's see. Save and run. And voila, it works. There are many more things we could do with strings, but let's continue to keep it simple and build on what we have learned so far, so let's recap. String concatenation is putting two or more strings together. These strings can be assigned to variables or not. The length function, when applied to a string, will return an integer value, which is the amount of characters that make up that string. Don't forget that spaces also count. Now for the next video in the series. If statements and why indentation is important in Python.